What's going on? Brandon Epstein here from Mental Fitness Training. And in today's video, I want to talk about Drake, some of his lyrics, specifically his new song, Pop Star, and how he uses his lyrics to program his subconscious mind for the success and the outcomes that he wants. Now, if you're new to this channel, I want to let you know that on this channel, basically what I'm doing is giving you the tools to help you control how you feel, how you behave, and what you create in your life. So to do that, I actually have mental fitness training I take you through. So if you're interested in learning more about this, I have a free book on mental fitness training. It's linked up in the description below. Go ahead and put your email on there and I will send that book right over to you. And for the rest of y'all who wanna go dive deeper with me, I'm about to launch a new mental fitness training course. And when it launches, I'm gonna have a big discount for anyone who joins on the launch week. So if that's you and you haven't put your email on my website yet, go do that as well, even if you don't want the book, so you get notified when the course drops. Now let's get back to Drake, his lyrics, and why I would make a video about Drake and his mindset in the first place. So if you're like me, uh, you've been following Drake for what, the last 10, 15 years of his career, where he's seen a ton of success, you know, coming up on probably, what is it? 15 years of like being one of the main artists in the spotlight and people might wonder like how is this guy able to have consistent success and yes a huge part of it are the actual strategy and tactics and the music that goes into his career on the other hand though a lot of what goes into this is his own belief and his own affirmation to what he believes he deserves to have and so a lot of this comes through in his music. His music is kind of just a manifestation of what he wants to create in his life. So he's even talked about earlier in his career, before he made a lot of money, he used to rap as if he had all that money before it was actually manifested. And by doing so, he was able to create all that money. You see, the thing is, when we can convince ourselves of something on the subconscious level, the results will physically show up in front of us eventually, as long as we keep taking action and keep moving forward. So when you embody the life that you say you wanna have and you repeat it through repetition, that's how you teach that subconscious mind. And so think about this. If our subconscious mind learns through repetition and you have a song that you're singing over and over and over again on albums and concerts, well basically the repetition of that song is seeping deep into your subconscious. Now, we've all heard Drake's love life stories and the way he talks about that in his songs, and it's usually not in the best way, which maybe has something to do why, with why he always has so many dramatic songs around his relationships and his love life. On the other hand, he's really good at manifesting a successful career. He's really good at manifesting tons of money and becoming the best you know, or most popular rapper alive today, as he, you know, every time he drops a song, it's on the top of the charts. And so a lot of this just comes through that repetition of what he's speaking through his songs and what he's speaking into existence, because the repetition is how our subconscious mind learns. A little recap, our conscious mind, our wakeful mind that we usually operate in, only processes between six and 40 bits of information per second. On the other hand, our subconscious mind, which is our supercomputer that actually runs our whole life, that processes around 40 million bits of information per second. So if you, for example, were just to say something in passing through your conscious mind, um, it doesn't hold that much though. But once you, it doesn't hold that much weight. It's not gonna actually manifest much in your world. But if you have some specific things that you're saying to yourself over and over again, or if you're doing what I encourage you to do in my program, if you're actually writing out the beliefs you wanna hold and you're listening to them every day as an audio, you're actually seeping that into your subconscious mind. You're writing the programs of your supercomputer by doing so. So when I heard Drake's new song, uh, Pop Star, where he talks about, I wanna live a long life, a legendary one. I want a quick death and an easy one. That really hit home to me because I was like, this dude is speaking his life into existence. That's what he wants to have happen. And so why wouldn't he take one of his new upcoming songs he's gonna be singing over and over and over again and have that repetition stick into his subconscious? 
Now, you may not be a rapper, you may not be someone who's a musician who's performing lyrics all the time, but you can apply these same principles to your own life by actually creating a script for the life that you wanna lead and then starting to take that script, reverse engineering it into affirmations, into beliefs you wanna hold, and then just repeating those to yourself all the time. Now we've heard so many other people in pop culture talk about how they do this. Everyone from some of the best athletes, you know, we've heard Mike Tyson talk extensively around the power of the mind and believing he was the most unstoppable animal on the face of the earth. And we've seen how that played out It's his career with him becoming one of the most dominant boxers ever. There are so many people out there who've shared similar sentiments. Essentially, when you are someone who wants to achieve almost you know, superhuman success like these people, you need to get the script down for your life that you're programming on the subconscious level. Because what happens is what we want to have happen on the conscious level is not what we manifest in the world around us. We create what we subconsciously believe we deserve. And the only way to get to that subconscious, that unconscious essential mind, is through repetition, is through programming, so creating affirmations or beliefs and listening to them all the time, every morning when you wake up, every night when you go to sleep, and also visualizing and seeing and living and experiencing what it's like to have that outcome. So what I got from Drake's lyrics is that he really wants to program this into himself. Hey, I'm not gonna be one of these you know, Hollywood stories of some great musician or or star who dies early. I want someone who's gonna, I'm gonna live a long life and then I want a quick and easy death. And so putting this as an affirmation to his songs, he's basically speaking it into existence. Now I'm not gonna compare Drake to Gandhi, but I just wanna point this out. One of Gandhi's best quotes was, your beliefs become your thoughts, your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions, your actions become your habits, your habits become your values, and your values become your destiny. But really that all starts with your beliefs. So if you can really get clear on what you wanna believe, not what you have believed your whole life, but choosing with intention what you wanna believe. Like Drake wants to believe that he's gonna live a long life and he's gonna have a a legendary one, he's gonna have a quick death and an easy one. So because of those beliefs, he will speak that into reality. He's gonna repeat it over and over again. It's become, it's not just gonna come through in his lyrics and his words, it's gonna come through in his actions, his behaviors, because whatever we subconsciously believe to be true, we end up turning it into physical actions, behaviors, and those physical actions in the world are actually what create the outcomes that we see around us, the people that we interact with, the physical outcomes for our body and our lives. So. All that to say is that Drake is a master of speaking his reality into existence. Your words matter. Your environment matters. So don't passively say bad things about yourself. Don't passively say bad things about the the future of your life. Don't passively just talk negatively because the more you do that, that's the more you're programming what you want to have happen for the rest of your life. And this isn't positive thinking. There's a huge distinction here, okay? We're not just saying nice things just to say nice things. We're understanding the science of how our mind works, of how the subconscious mind is just a supercomputer that we're constantly programming with information, which in turn leads to us acting a certain way and then creating a certain outcome. So if you're satisfied with where your life is right now, and you're like, hey, I have no complaints, then keep doing what you're doing. But if you are someone who's like, you know what, I'd like to have better outcomes in my life, I would have a better script. So Drake has lyrics, he speaks his lyrics into existence, becomes his beliefs, becomes who he is and how he shows up in the world. For you, I advise you to actually write down what the beliefs you wanna hold and why do you wanna hold them? Because beliefs essentially are going to support some kind of outcome you want. So if you wanna create an outcome, you have to ask yourself, what, be- what do I need to believe to create that outcome? And then say that in repetition. Write it, make it the screensaver for your phone. Set alarms on your phone to go off so you can remind yourself, oh yeah, like this is who I am, or this is what I believe, this is what I'm creating, right? Start to live in the energy of the things that you wanna create in the world. All right, this isn't just a law of attraction. This isn't just woo-woo stuff. This is all hard science, it's proven that our subconscious mind really 
controls everything that we end up doing in the physical world. So if you can get that programming right, you can transform your entire reality. So that's what I recommend you do. If you need any help with this, definitely check out that book I talked about in the beginning of this video, link up in the description below. Got that course coming out if you want me to take you through this process uh, hand over hand. Um, and in general, I just wanna say shout out to Drake because I love that affirmation. I'm gonna be holding onto that one as well because I wanna live a long life, a legendary one. And I also want a quick death and an easy one. I don't know about you, but that's a good affirmation, I think, for most people to hold. So thank you so much for checking out this video, learning more about how people like Drake are programming their subconscious mind to create the reality that they want. And hopefully you can use this to start to create more of what you want in your own life. As always, be the thing, and I'll see you in the next video.